Hey, it's Kenzano. Appreciate that you're watching this video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything and leave me some feedback below. Now, it didn't take long over the weekend, did it, for the media that cover other conferences, not including the Pac-12, to rule the Pac-12 out of the college football playoff, right? Already out of the playoff? Look, here's the bottom line. I wouldn't bet on the Pac-12 conference to get to the playoff. It's missed the college football playoff two straight years and three out of the last four years. Obviously, uh, the Pac-12 hasn't had great success, so I'm not betting on the Pac-12 conference, but I think it's absurd for outsiders to declare that the Pac-12 is already out of the playoff. Now, it's true, the Pac-12 doesn't have an undefeated team. We're not even in October, the Pac-12 all beat up, blemished. You can say, look, uh, it's cannibalizing itself. Uh, it eats its own. Whatever metaphor that you want to use, it's all true. But the bottom line is, you know, Clemson almost lost over the weekend. And we've seen the College Football Playoff Selection Committee uh, consider one-loss teams before. And a one-loss Oregon team that's sitting at 12-1 and one after winning a, uh, a conference championship game, for example, would be a pretty attractive candidate with the only loss being to Auburn. And a one-loss Washington team would be in the same boat. And a one-loss Utah team would be in the same boat. Look, the Pac-12 has numerous one-loss teams. So I think it's ridiculous at this point of the season to say the Pac-12's out of this thing, it's over. And I know that's a, uh, a cool thing for people who are covering conferences like the SEC or the Big Ten to say right now because they are looking at their conference saying, hey, we can get multiple teams in. The Pac-12's all beat up. The only way the Pac-12's getting into the playoff is with a ticket. You can say all of those things, but they're simply not true at this point. We don't know if Clemson is going to survive in the ACC. They looked vulnerable over the weekend. We don't know what's going to happen in the SEC. We don't even know who's going to win the Iron Bowl. So I don't know who's going to get there and what the other candidates are going to look like. Certainly, Ohio State looks terrific. Certainly, you have Alabama and Auburn that look awesome. Certainly, Clemson, if it gets there undefeated, probably get, yeah, gets into the playoff, right? But let's not declare the Pac-12 conference out of this thing when it's not out of this thing. A 12-1 Pac-12 representative is a pretty strong candidate, and I still think the playoff committee would have to consider them. All right, leave me some feedback below. Tell me which of the Pac-12 teams do you think is most likely to arrive at the end of the season with a 12-1 record. So give me your best candidate from the Pac-12, and make sure that you subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.